Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Island Mansion. The last episode, the last building episode of Let's Build an Island Mansion. And I've got something to show you. Something that I mentioned way, way back. And a few of you already picked up on it way, way back. Now, this island mansion, when I first thought of the series, it was because of an image that I saw of a island with a with a sort of house on it with a with a sort of mansion on it and at first i stayed very very close to the shape of the island was taken from inspiration from this image i'm going to show you it in a minute uh the the, the shape was taken you know from inspiration the main house before you guys complained and i ended up making it bigger because you said it's too small aj make that mansion bigger <laughs> before you guys said that uh, the the house itself had had taken inspiration from the house on this island, same as the pool and the wheat field and stuff like that. So here's the image, okay. And as you can see, it does reminisce very similar to our island mansion here. As you can see, the house is at a 45 degree angle, which we can never do in Minecraft anyway. But as you can see, we've got the uh, the room off to the left. And then we've got the big windowed area in the middle and then the sort of two windowed area next to it with the uh, walkway underneath it that went around the side of the house. Exactly how it used to be before you guys said it was too small. Now, I did notice when uh, you guys were saying it's too small, it needs to be made bigger. I did notice that some of you were saying, no, it's it's the right. I thought it was, you were saying, I thought it was too small as well until... I found this image, and this image was uh, the same island. I think it was the same image. There's actually uh, a few different images of different angles taken from helicopters of this island. I think uh, it must have gone up for sale recently or something like that, which is why the images were were um, uh, about a lot on the internet, uh, or, or at least where I was looking. Um, it must have been up for sale, and then uh, obviously it got a little bit of publicity there. But as you can see, the sort of uh, beach area and that little sort of uh, piece of land that comes out to the left of the dock that we have on our island now obviously the dock isn't there on this one and nor is the lighthouse we've added those there is a little red barn or red, I think it's a red house on the far side behind the trees well I changed that into a barn and I think it looks pretty good I think it's very similar I mean if I stand right here it sort of has a very similar sort of look and uh, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very, very pleased on how it turned out. I think we've done very, very well at using inspiration to create something of our own. Now, I do this on pretty much every series, any creative series, uh, any building, any skyscraper or house on the city. I like to use real buildings because then you have an aspect or you have something to base it off. And then you just change it. And once you change one thing, you end up changing another thing and you end up changing another thing. And it's not copying. Inspiration is 100% not copying. It's something that everybody should do. And it takes a little bit of practice. But I think, I think we've done very, very well. Today, I want to finish it off by building a yacht slash sailboat in this little zone right here. Now, we have a maximum width uh, because of these. Well, I mean, we could go out from, let's get to quartz. We're going to want one, two, three, four, five. Now we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks wide is like the maximum. But as you can see, it is touching this uh, post right here. Um, or we could reduce it down. We could have it six blocks and make sure that the front doesn't touch this. Make sure we sort of curve it round like this and we'll have the front there or we can reduce it down to five and then it'll fit nicely in between them both and we don't have to worry about the length of it i don't know i'm gonna get some sailboat and yacht pictures up we're gonna get sort of a, a mix of them and again use inspiration convert it into minecraft blocks from real life which is probably one of the hardest parts and uh, and i should be back just give me a second 
I always forget that when it comes to editing, it's instant. There's no waiting that you need to do at all. So I don't know why I, I always say, I'll do that and I'll be right back. As if you guys have to wait for me to do it. But you don't. It's editing. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of different sailboats. I'm not going to show you the pictures. There's loads of them. Uh, just to grab some inspiration here. Uh, they're nice and small. They're not too big. But they seem to be like a really nice size. I'm going to try and go with a five block wide one. Uh, and it would be really nice if we can somehow get like a little tiny interior as well so we'll try and use as much space as we can so we've got this one block at the back here that's as far back as we can go they always have a very square back or very flat back if you like and i'm going to use these on the corner here and i'm going well i might no i'm going to use no we need a full block there for sure i think i might use a slab there instead of a stair and then it sort of arches back a lot quicker and then I think we're going to have slabs here and at least down the side there. I think I might keep full blocks along the side here. But then underneath that, just in the water, we're going to go to normal quartz blocks again. I don't know why I really grabbed the pillars. I think I'm going to go with slabs underneath that one and that one. Just on, on underneath that one and go with full blocks here. Do we want stairs down the side? Would it look better with stairs down the side? Let's have a look. Let's let's try it. So that's what it looks like with full blocks down the side. Or we've got stairs. Now stairs makes it drop away very, very quickly. What if we done stairs for the back three and then went to full blocks? Whoops, I fell into the speedboat. Obviously this boat isn't going to be drivable there or oh, it's back two isn't it not three now there is a mod called archimedes ships a few of you have actually said you should uh have this mod you should use this mod uh for your uh city here so you can actually make your own minecraft blocked boats and planes and i've thought about it the only trouble is is it's actually uh, ooh, ooh, no, no 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 it's actually a little bit difficult to use properly because you can only use a certain amount of actual blocks most of them have to be like air blocks for flying ones and they're not the greatest um you don't have the greatest variety now we could change the textures but then we're sort of getting away from the what i would really like i don't know it's something that i keep thinking about but probably not i probably won't be adding archimedes ships We'll have to see in the future. It's a mod that I can add at any time. I don't need to go, okay, I need to add it before it's too late. There's no there's no lateness to it. So, I think that's a good bottom. I think it's a little bit too big. I think this layer needs to be out a little bit. Like that. And like that. That looks pretty nice. If we can somehow get some slabs and some stairs underneath here as well. Like that one and that one. I think I like that top one. Maybe this top one should be just a stair. No, that makes it look too stubby at the front. That makes it look a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is where you're going to be able to go into the boat. And hopefully we'll have... Hopefully I can sort of trick it into making it look bigger than what it is on the inside. We should be able to. I think what we can do is we can add... These like this take away these three blocks and put them here now from the outside that's the shape of the boat it looks a little weird in minecraft i think it needs to come out a little bit further it might be a little bit too short no it looks about right we'll bring it out here instead then that's a good shape that's a good shape i like how it's lower at the front for the weight uh, I think it needs to be extended just a smidge longer, though. We'll have one more block added to all these fronts. And then I think I can add a slab there and a full block here. Maybe a full block underneath there and there as well. Stair. Swap that out for a stair. That's good. That's a really nice front now on there. We want iron bars. For like a, uh, a rail that goes down this side. Just to one before the end or two before the end. I think two before the end. And have the same down this side. 
and then we want the same going around the front here as well like this do we want it to join up yeah mm. no i like it better like that and then we can take out these blocks here this will give us a little bit more room on the interior can i take away any of these i could take away that one that one and that one but these ones have to be in trying to give us as much room on the inside as possible now there is usually a little spot on the front that you can sort of stand on but really not too much room you usually sort of squeeze or walk sort of around it so what we'll do now is we'll grab some slabs to go there there either a full block or a stair maybe a stair would be better to have there and then i'm going to go full block there and there oh no i'm going to use stair instead that way the iron bars don't join up to it slab like that slab like that and then hopefully i can get a door in here somewhere let's put a floor down get rid of this water looks like there's just maybe enough room for a decent interior here so um i'm going to change these out to slabs that one and that one that gives a really nice sort of drop away put these blocks here door uh, oh yeah, it's going to be a nice white door as well on there like that. And then a stair and a slab. Really, really cool. I love it. I love it. Okay, um, it's a shame that I can't have slabs on here. We're going to have to change out the floor to a nice wood, I think I want. So we want, um, what wood? Spruce or oak? Oak. Or spruce. Spruce. I think it looks a little bit more exotic, a little bit more expensive. Uh, I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll have them down on this level here. But then on these back ones, we'll have it just half a block higher. Then you can sort of get into it uh, a little bit easier. Now, there's two. I want to do both things. Some of these have uh, engines. Some of them have sails. I want to have both. Some of them have both, and I want to have both. So if it's a nice windy day, you can use the sails and save some fuel. But if it's not really that windy, but you still want to go out, then uh, you can use the little outboard motor on the back. So I'm going to use, I think, uh, maybe red will probably stand out the most. So No, cyan, clay. That would look the best. So we're going to have a little outboard motor on the back here. It's really annoying how that joins up. Maybe I should shove the boat forward by one. Should I? Yeah, let me shove it forward by one. I'll be okay. Back. Just shoved it forward by one block. Got it away from that fence so it doesn't connect up. We're going to go with walls for, like, I don't know what you'd call it, like the propeller part that goes down here. Oh, that's not a wall. Wall into the water or just on the water's level? Maybe on the water's level. I think that looks a little bit better. Plus, plus, it's not moving at the moment. So usually you can turn the engine, like pull the engine out of the water uh when you're when you're docked and then it, i suppose i don't know why you wouldn't want it in the water but some people don't have it in the water there okay so we've got the engine for days that it's not uh not windy but then we want sails on it as well it might be nice to add just a little a little bit of color maybe even using carpets or something on the full blocks because we can't unless i use this line here for some color black would work I've got black stairs as well. Um, uh, birch. Let's try it. It's like a black wool texture. Like a little black and white sailboat. That could look really nice. And then one, two, three. Oh, yeah. And then these are here as well. I forgot about how that would look at the side. Okay, no, we'll go with full blocks then. Full block stair in there. I'll do the bottom in a minute. And then here we want this to be a slab. And then two full blocks. And then all these are full blocks down the side here. And then black stairs. There and there. Black slab there and there. Black. I'm going to just change that to a... No, I'm going to put a stair there. And then maybe somehow make these black as well. One, two, three. No, not stairs. Full blocks. That one, that one, and that one. Do I like that? I don't know if I do like that. 
if you were going to do it, you need to have it so thin, which is why I thought carpets, no. No, I don't think so. I think I prefer it all being white. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, we'll change these back then. Stare. 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 Uh, full block, full block, full block. Slab. Slab. And then put these ones back. Oops. Put these ones back again. It was worth a try. It's always worth experimenting with the blocks. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes mistakes work out to be better than what you thought as well. So we shall replace these back here. Okay, underneath it, uh, I want to cover up the spruce. It doesn't make sense to have it underneath. So I think we probably just want slabs, right? Underneath here. Oop, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, because it's on the bottom, isn't it? Okay, we'll go to full... Oh, yeah. I don't think I could do anything about that one. I don't think I can do anything about those four because they're level. Okay. Okay, no problem. You're not going to go underneath it that often anyway, are you? So, for the sails, we... Let's have a look at these. How do these go? So, we have a cobblestone wall we'll use for the mast. There's usually two sails, but one mast. We've got this perfect location to put it on as well. I'm going to say that high at a guess for the moment. It might be a little bit higher, maybe one block higher. They are really, really big. And then we want uh, the sails, white wool... Would probably be the best. Uh, so we'll have the white wool. Now, there are two triangles. One usually faces forward. One usually faces backwards. When it's moving, when it's docked, it might be a little bit different. But I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to have one facing like this way. I always find sails very hard to do. Very hard to make look right. That's pretty close, actually. So at first I do them flat, so straight, but then what I like to do is once I've got them straight, I then like to make them look a little bit like they're wobbling, like in the wind. So I do it like that, and then I take away what ones I've done, like this, oop, not, no, that's good, that one, that one, and I think that's good. So it looks a little bit like the uh, the sails being blown a little bit. And I think maybe like that. No, it looks a little bit too far. It looks a little bit too windy, doesn't it? Well, like that. That's good. That looks nice. And it'll look good from the other side as well because it looked like the wind's blowing the other way. Maybe this one should be doubled up like that. Or like that. Or like both. Both of them. Both of them looks better. Okay, so I've got one sail on here. Then the other sail uh, is a triangle that faces backwards. So we're going to do this one here. This one actually comes away from the mast a little bit sooner, if possible. So I'm going to add two blocks on the top. Maybe one above that as well. Get them at slightly different heights. And then... Like that. Looks a little bit too thin. That looks better. I can probably add one more there as soon as it starts at a different height. And I think that's pretty good. So we'll do the same thing. We want to add a little bit of, uh, of depth to it, a little bit of 3D-ness. So we're going to move one of the blocks just a little bit out like that. Maybe that's too much. I think that's probably better. And then remove these ones. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, that one. And that one. Okay, looks good from this side. Very happy. And from this side, looks good as well. Really, really nice. So, we want to somehow try and connect them up. They don't, they don't, they're not only connected at the top, but they have like strings connecting like, the sails down. Now we don't have anything really thin in Minecraft and we've already used iron bars so I don't think that they'd look that good. I think we're forced to use fences but we do have nether brick fence which is like a grey one. It has, it has the uh, sort of andesite texture and I think that would work quite well so we could sort of maybe join that up to there. I want to join this front one up to there. In fact they're joining up really really well. I think I want this one 
to be like connected like that. This one connected like that. And they're connected all over the place. Like there's so many. There's pulleys and levers and winches and crazy, crazy stuff. The engineering into these things. Never been on one. Never been on a sailing boat. I don't like the water too much. Uh, I'm really not a fan of of water or, or I've never flown before either. I don't like either of them. I prefer to have all my feet on the floor. <laughs> I can't fall. I can't drown. I can't sink. I can't do anything. Okay, I like that. It just connects them up a little bit. Maybe there's a little bit too many of them. Uh, maybe... I think it looked a little bit too far out as well on some parts. You want enough room to walk through on those parts. So that looks much better. I'm very happy with that. Maybe remove this one. Oops. Oops. Uh, that one. And I know I removed something. That one. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's good. I think that's good. Maybe this one can be removed as well. Yeah. Okay. We've got we've got the, uh, a nice balance now. Okay. On the back here, I want a flag because I saw this on one of the boats. Oh, I'll do that. That makes it a little more sporty looking. Yeah, there's this really cool flag looking thing on the back. Let's get a normal fence for this. It was an American flag on one of the ones that I saw, and I was like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Just like a miniature one. Uh, so I think maybe we'll just do two fences and use uh, red wool and blue wool yeah red and blue red and blue just a red one just a red one just a red one looks good just there's like a little flag just flapping away at the back there uh we want some safety stuff now though now we have the perfect thing for this item frame and i think it'll probably be best to have definitely one there and you probably want a couple of them on we'll have one at the front here that's probably good, right? And what did we use for? Was it Ender Pearl? Nope. What did we use for the lifeguard slime ball? Bing. There you go. Fra <laughs> frames dropped a ton then. Perfect. Okay, I like that. So, uh, there's no room for seats or anything in here. You don't really want to cram anything in. This is all for uh, standing up and fishing or even sitting on the edge and stuff like that. I think that looks good. Really, really nice, in fact, so far. Anything else that I've missed from the outside? Uh, a window. If we could get a window, that would be cool. Maybe if I could squeeze a window in there. Glass. Let's use stained glass. Uh, black. Black stained glass. I think that would probably look the best. And then put the fence back over you. Because you'll still hopefully be able to see out of it. But it'll just have like that little tiny window in there. There, put that over. There you go. Just get a little bit of light on the inside. Let's go into it now. And this is the room that we have. As we knew, we weren't going to have too much room in here. Underneath the windows, I think we want to put the stairs. It just covers up the bottom and leaves us a little bit of room. Uh, furnace. Perfect spots for a furnace to go in here. Uh, we want a bed. I think if we... Put a block here. Oh, no, we want... Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Put the bed like that. It's a little bit tight. You could technically sleep in it in survival. They've always they've always really cramped in here anyway. Uh, bookshelf. Maybe like that. Um, uh, candle. What other torches have we got? We've got the fluorescent. Uh, fluorescent for lighting in here. You can't put them on the ceiling, can you? Mm. Oh, you can put them on the ceiling, but we haven't really got the headroom for it. So we'll have one like that. That's all you really need, unless we do it there and there. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, carpet. I'm going to go with red carpet. Like that. Just to, just to like a little straight part like that. And then we've got this little space here. Chest. You can't open it. Or we could make we, we could do it so it could open. But the chest could go there. If I swap this one out for a 
stair. I could do the same on that side as well. They get a couple of little hobs there. That's cool. It'll still look the same from the outside. In fact, it might be better because the iron... The iron bars connect to fence... To, to stairs? I didn't know. I didn't think they'd done that. I didn't think they connected to stairs. Okay, whatever. Well, at least we've got a couple of little hobs. And the chest is now accessible as well. In the corner here, maybe a candle. What else are we going to put there? I'll put a... Uh, I can get it there. There we go. Little candle in the corner there. Or a flower pot. It's up to you. We've already got a lot of light. You can put a flower pot there if you wanted to. I think that's pretty much all that you'd need on a boat. Just some cooking. You can cook up one of the fishes that you've caught. Uh, store some stuff. Do a little bit of reading at night time if you were out, uh, out at night. I think that's really cool. I'm very, very happy on how this whole thing looks. Anything else? Is there any other little tiny details? You know what? I do want a flower pot actually on top of the boat. Flower pot with... Um, blue one in it? A blue one in it. Yeah, little bit of detail there. That looks cool. Uh, anything else? Anything else in here? Uh, not there. Is there any room for paintings on the inside? It would be nice. Nice to have just a single painting. If I remove that, I could... Something... That's a nice one. Hey, oh, that just contrasts the color a little bit. Do I need that light there? I don't think I do. I think it's plenty light enough in here without that, just with the candle. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, anything else? Nothing in redstone that we can use? I don't think anyone needs a Coke machine in their boat. It'd be cool, but I don't think anyone needs it. Uh, we've got the life... Um, life rings, life... Raft, well, I, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I always forget. I forgot on the... I had a tutorial like a couple of years ago on how to build a, a small little fishing boat. And uh, I forgot what it was back then. And the comment section is just, on that video is just filled with that sort of stuff. Uh, telling me what it is. And I've still forgotten. So it obviously didn't work, did it? Okay, anything else? No guns, no cars, none of that, none of that. Crate. Crate could be cool. I mean, a crate would probably be better than the chest because I think you can open crates even with a block above it. Maybe not. It might work the same as chests. I can't remember. Tombstones. Uh, none of those. These are just sort of things you can put in item frames. Armor. Weapons. No good. And then helicopter stuff. I don't think any of these are going to be of any use either, right? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right. That's going to do it. That is the series completed. Done. Next episode, we I'll do like a, a montage like I did with the um, uh, with the cruise ship. It's just like a final overview before we as a, as a final goodbye. Uh, have some music. It's only usually a couple of minutes long. Have a look around the rooms and stuff like that. Uh, just nice for memories and stuff like that. But I think that sailboat makes it look really, really nice. Let's turn the shaders on here. And then we'll be moving on to something else. As I said last episode, uh, it looks like we might be playing a few little maps, uh, puzzle maps that other people have made. And uh, really, really fun. Re lo looks really, really fun to do. I'm very excited about it. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll do a couple of them. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, we'll do more. If not, we'll try something else. And we'll probably do another creative series or something like that. Very, very cool. Let's turn my HUD off here. I love it. Sailboat, that just finishes that off 100%, doesn't it? I love it. Nice small little sailboat. Really good scale as well. If if you look at sailboats, um, like little private sailboats on, on the internet, it's very, very close. It's perfect uh, sail scale, in fact. Like the sails usually finish just before the end of the boat, which is what we've done here. Very, very close. Very, very pleased. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you, haven't already, if you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. There we go. Get my words out. We shall see you in the next episode.